コットンキャンディーサイアナイトあーガイス、here we are again。The AMA video、ラウンド2。ディンディンディン。Well, n o n s k a p o this was definitely not from a lack of trying. We have contacted over 100 different media platforms to gain any exposure, both before the campaign and during. Unfortunately, we can't force people to feature us. If we could, this would be a whole lot easier. As for podcasts and YouTubers, we haven't had much luck there either, but we have had multiple people complete videos of them playing our game. Oh, and we also took part of a Twitch event with the Black Sea Odyssey crew. I think all we can do is ask. It sucks, but we really can't do much more, sadly. Prefundia was really good to try and show the content of our Kickstarter before it launched and to get some extra interest in the project. You can buy packages that give you better marketing, and looking back, perhaps if we could have afforded it, we may have had a bigger impact using Prefundia if we had signed up with one of the packages. It was a great way to get some feedback on the project before launch, and if you have the time, I would definitely recommend it for everyone with the campaign. We aren't overly concerned about the Australian Classification Board. Both of us having experience in the game industry at retail level as well as academic level, we understand what is and isn't allowed and didn't see any problems with our project going forward. That being said, we will always have to keep an eye on any changes to ensure that our project stays within the limitations that our government determines. My undergraduate is a Bachelor of Laws and a Bachelor of Arts, majoring in Japanese. As for my PhD, it focuses on representations of law in popular culture, specifically the jurisprudential themes in Persona 4. My undergraduate is a Bachelor of Arts with a double major in Japanese and a minor in Creative Writing and Literature. My PhD is in Game Studies and focuses on and compares day one release titles on the PS4 in Australia and Japan. The only character that would probably be comparable with my art style is probably Melody, and I can't see why not. Absolutely amazing. When we hit 30k, I cried. No joke. I bawled my eyes out, and it was not pretty. I can't even explain the feeling. I'm just so happy. Feels good, man. The plan is once a month. Yes, the production stage means that we will be pretty busy all the time, but we still want you to feel as if you're a part of the project. We want to keep making videos just like this so we can keep you up to date without you having to read a month of info. Doctor Strange. Mostly because Benedict Cumberbatch is going to look really fine in Wizard Robes. Persona 5 also looks Fly. The new Harry Potter book, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, and the new Harry Potter movie, Fantastical Beasts and Where to Find Them. I was looking forward to Deadpool, and that already happened, so I guess I'm looking forward to the Dota International. Oh, and Dishonored 2, Recall, Final Fantasy XV, Tekken 7, Day of the Tentacle Remastered, and Harvest Moon Seeds of Memories. I am skeptical on Pokemon Go. I want to be excited, but I'm afraid that it's going to go pear shaped. Oh my god, Pokemon Go is going to be the best. I just want a Growlithe. I'm pretty sure children are going to try and attempt to catch Diglets in the middle of a motorway, die, and ruin it for all of us. I am not holding my breath. Um, not 
Not really. I think it has gone really well. If I could go back in time, maybe suggest some more awesome add-ons. I wasn't expecting such a positive response. I really don't know who I'd be on the Everett. I'd probably just be an expendable red shirt. As for the deletion game, I'm terrible at lying, so for how I would die, I would probably just end up killing myself. Not quantum suicide, just the regular kind. Um, I would ideally like to be the captain, but if I can't have that job, I'd probably go for programming or linguistics of some sort. Oh, I also wouldn't mind being in the medical profession. I like to cut people, but I don't think I have those skill sets in real life, so I guess that's out. As for dying, I would probably be murdered by my own crew who disagrees with my opinion. My opinion for the record would be in the best interest of the greater good. How do we make a sequel if no one is alive from the first one? That's an interesting question. I'll have to ask my clothing printer person to see if that's a possibility, but I will keep you posted. Katashi, because he is the cutest, and he does a lot more than you people expect. I really would like to see him in just an apron. <clears throat> Kimiko, I would love to spend the evening with her. Such power, such charisma, my type of lady. <laughs> the name Cotton Candy Cyanide was made when I was dreaming in my undergrad about making my own company. Technically had no product to sell, but I thought it was cute being CCCN minus because CN minus is the chemical formula for cyanide. My friend at the time who was a graphic designer made me the bunny and images to humor me, but now here we are. Yes and no. Your actions can cause you to change pathways between heading towards one or the other, but not technically. There are about 20 to 25 different locations. My favourite location is the engineering bay. I think it's the prettiest and I really like the colours. My favourite is the farm location. You guys haven't seen it yet, but it reminds me of Harvest Moon and that makes me happy. White Taiyaki. It's just got this beautiful chewy mochi outside and the inside is warm custard or chocolate all in this heavenly fish-shaped parcel. I love sponge cake with cream and strawberries. Oh, and parfaits. Oh, and ice cream. Oh, and chocolate. Preferably, I don't die. You never really look at a death and go, yay! Otherwise, stupidity? I would rather I die from me doing something stupid. Or otherwise, like playing Mario or Smash Brothers when your friends throw you off the cliff at the end of the level. That's always great fun. I enjoy being betrayed by my friends. Nothing gets me more intrigued than betrayal. I don't have a sense of smell, so I can't help you there. We haven't decided what smell they will have just yet, actually. Do you have a preference? No comment. No comment.
The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. Who lives on Drury Lane? Hit us with the hard stuff, will you? I wouldn't mind moving to Night Vale. Technically, it doesn't exist, but that's only a minor hurdle. Being happy. It doesn't matter what you're doing if you're happy, right? Even cleaning up garbage could be like the best day ever if you're happy. Knowing the answer to this question, but not telling you. That is a really hard question. Bring back the questions about favourite foods. No, but seriously, and don't laugh. I think friendship. Something that you can relate to. Something that puts you in the narrative or has you identify with the character. I love psychological thrillers. Anything that makes you think, like puzzles, but then at the end still has you questioning what? Because of the structure of visual novels, it is really important that the player experiences being put in the narrative. This is why the protagonist has no voice, because it is your voice. Absolutely. I'm pretty much sitting here writing a game that I would want to play, and I just hope that there is enough other me's to get it off the ground. Violet Eyes would be okay, but it really depends on the type of vampire. I do not want shiny vampires. That being said, if vampires exist, it is likely that all the other creepy crawlies exist too, and I don't know how I feel about that. I think it would be cool. I would enjoy having Violet Eyes, and if vampires exist, that means I can be one. That sounds great. I already don't go out in the sun, I'm already super pale, so nothing would really change except for like eating people and living forever. It's been a bit more easy going since we hit our funding goal pretty early. I would say the opposite. I've been making a conscious attempt to be much more active with social media comments and updates that every day is still quite stressful. It's pretty amazing. It just proves that you really can do anything you want if you put the effort in. It's really nice. I still can't. Don't have any plans for future projects just yet. We're focusing on this one, but hopefully enough people will enjoy our writing style and gameplay that they would be happy to play another Cotton Candy Cyanide title. You'll just have to wait and see. Well, that is it again from us for another AMA. Remember, you don't have to wait until an AMA to ask your questions. Well, we'll see you on the other side of the campaign, Quantumers.